is Cinco de Mayo. We are checking out some upscale, authentic Mexican food here at Las Portas on the west side. My name is Victor Parra Gonzalez. Um, I own Las Puertas. I was born in Mexico. I went to culinary school in Montreal and recently uh, felt the need to explore the Mexican side of the cooking approach. That means weeks or months of preparation can go into each dish on Chef Victor's tasting menu, which changes every five weeks. We have this conception that Mexican food can be very fast, but it's the other way. And that's kind of what we do here. Growing up in Acapulco, Victor didn't know too many Mexican chefs. Being a chef wasn't for us. You know, in Mexico, um, being a chef was for the Swiss, for the Italian, for the French. That's what the hospitality towns were hiring and bringing in. And then obviously there were cooks, and that was primarily our workforce. But to be in charge and leading a team wasn't really a thing that we had the opportunity to do. Fast forward to now, here we are and having a ton of fun. Visit the restaurant and you'll find Victor cooking in the open kitchen next to his sister Diana, his sous chef. Recado Negro is the salsa, uh, torch avocado to go as a pairing. Uh, today we had the opportunity to do some tomatoes on the vine, but then this is our octopus dish. Um, you know, it's become part of our signature idea here. It's also a symbol in the restaurant, it's on our wall. They've earned two James Beard Foundation award nominations so far. But seven years ago, it seemed unlikely that the restaurant would get off the ground or experience success. So we knocked on many financial doors and it was constantly the same thought, like you're, you're not going to make it, that's not going to work out. The name Las Portas, which translates to the doors, is an ode to the non-believers and look for the wall of doors inside. So there's 26 doors for 26 people that told me I couldn't do it. Um, to the point where, you know, one day we kind of just got tired and said, all right, credit cards, whatever savings. Um, we sold our home in Grand Island and we're like, let's go in. And with those days behind him, Victor has a new perspective. Nowadays, I think it's more a gratitude approach to know that, hey, at least with all of the issues that we've had in the city, um, there's a recognition that most immigrants would love to see, which we really like. Taking you out to eat, I'm Lauren Hall.